everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Becca if you're new, and today I'm getting into my February 2017, yes, and hard pass. All right, so I didn't wear a ton of makeup this month because I had a rheumatoid arthritis flare up, which means my immune system basically was just like, mm, no, no, we're not gonna do the things. So I had, uh, and basically means that if there's a germ anywhere, I will get infected with said germ. So I had uh, two separate weeks this month that I had eye issues. So I didn't want to use makeup and infect that makeup. So that's where we're at. So I'm going to start off with skincare, which I did use a lot of this month because I'm still a human. And the first two things are from the brand The Ordinary. They're this crazy cheap skincare brand and I bought a bunch of stuff from them and I'm gonna do a full skincare video that shows kind of what I use which includes a lot of products from this brand and also drugstore and a couple other things but this in particular is the caffeine solution and it's to reduce the puffiness under your eyes so it just comes out in a dropper and it's kind of a little thick and I just put, you know, one drop and dot it into my eyes and let it sit for a while. And it really helps with my dark circles, like a lot. It's like I got fillers for like $7, if that. I'm not sure how much this is. But it's in a glass bottle. And so my, I really like the little apothecary look that my bathroom has right now with all of these products. So I'm a big fan. Go get this. Now, this is another product from the brand. This is their High Spreadability Fluid Primer. And this is a silicone primer. It's like, I think again, like $6. And again, in a dropper. And it's like crazy thick. I hardly use the dropper. I just kind of pull it out and like get the product from there. But it's amazing. And it's a lot cheaper than something like professional or I use the unique primer yeah that's right uh, which both are great products but if you're looking for something more affordable I highly recommend this now this is kind of weird but I'm just gonna be honest with you because we're all friends here probably um, I'm making the transition into natural deodorants because I'm Concerned specifically with my autoimmune issues, uh, trying to kind of like detox the body and just do nice things for it. But I also don't want to be stinky. And that's where this bad boy comes in. This is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, world's most powerful facial, deep pore cleansing, 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. And it's literally just a grape. It's like a gray powder. Um, I've had this for like a year and I usually just use it for face masks. Um, I just mix it with a little apple cider vinegar and water and put it on my face. But what I've started doing is making that same concoction, but putting it on my armpits and then walking around like this for like 20 minutes. Um, and it helps clear things out and make you less stinky and kind of get through that adjustment period into uh, deodorants without aluminum because a lot of them have baking soda and that actually irritates your underarms and so it helps prevent getting a rash and things like that. So if you're interested, it's like $10 on Amazon and yeah, I've had this for like a year and it's basically like halfway gone. So big fan. Now this is also ridiculous. This is Vaseline. Uh, it was sent to me via influencer which I just got a box box and had a bunch of products in it. It was like, talk about the Vaseline. I was like, no, that's stupid. And then I read on the internet, I'm really bad at painting my nails. And I read that if you put Vaseline around the edges of your nails and then paint your nails, the polish that you screw up on won't stick. And that's what I did and it totally works. So if you're a failure like me, pick some of this up, it's cheap, or, you know, something similar, and it helps. Fred's attacking my feet right now. 
Kitten! Kitten! Now this is my last kind of skincare lifestyle product, but this is uh, the Bomb.com, specifically the coconut flavor in from Glossier. And it's a universal skin salve, and I basically just use it for my lips, but I'll also sometimes put it on my cuticles if I'm having a rough day. But it's really nice and thick, and I put it on my lips at night, and I wake up in the morning and they're super soft and hydrated and ready for me to ruin that with matte liquid lipstick. So, big fan, it's really nice. Uh, it's similar to the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask and allegedly Aquaphor, which I have not used. All right, now moving on to makeup. I just have a couple makeup products. One thing I discovered is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade Palette, which is a not even subtle attempt at duping the Caf on D Shade and Light Palette. And what's really nice about this um, is it's $15. The shadows are really blendable and go on easily and are very pigmented and it's all matte, it's all neutral shades. They have a mix of, Eve. They have a mix of uh, warm tones and cool tones and you can do a full eye look, which I think is great. And I don't have the Cap on D palette personally. I really want it, but now I don't feel like I need to get it and spend $45, however much it is. And I can spend 15 and get this and enjoy it. Like, look at that black. That is a black. I also really like this warm brown shade. I got mine at Ulta. And they typically do like buy two, get one freeze, buy one, get one free, or you know, get one 50% off, whatever, um, for this brand. And they have a lot of other really good products. So, worth checking out. All oh, my yes, it's except for one, are like affordable products. Go self. All right, up next is my Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. And as you can see, it has kind of a different wand, but if I hold it like this, it looks like I have a mustache. It has a different wand. Um, it's really similar to the Benefit Roller Lash wand, but I really like it because when I use mascara, I'm looking for length and holding of the curl over like crazy volume. Crazy volume, I have hooded eyes. Um, crazy volume is just going to Kind of obscure the work I did on the eyeshadow, which is not what I want because I spent time on it. So I'm a fan of this and also Benefit Roller Lash. But this is at the drugstore. So, you know, why spend $24 when you can spend like eight? Now on to lip products. First I want to talk about the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stain Moisturizing Lip Color. I have two colors here. Um, I'm probably going to get more because these are amazing and they're $3. The first one is Coral of the Story, which is Coral. And the second one I have is Radioactive, which is red. They don't hide the ball over at Wet n Wild, which I appreciate. Sometimes you see eyeshadows that are like purple is the name of the sh shadow, but it's actually like green. Why? But anyways, these are really fun. Um, they look a lot like the Clinique Chubby Sticks, which I haven't tried, but they're less expensive. They're really moisturizing. I don't have them on right now. I have a different lip combo on, but I pop them in my purse. They're easy. They last a few hours, but I think they're going to be really nice in the spring and summer, especially like out at the pool um, or the beach, you know, outside, sunshine, summer, the things you do. I think these are going to be fun and I'm fully planning on getting lots more colors because I need more lip products. And my last yes is the Marc Jacobs High Shine Lip Lacquer in Sugar Sugar. This was recommended by lots of YouTubers, but most specifically Jaclyn Hill. And it's the lip gloss I have on my lips on top of uh, Maybelline lipstick. And I love it. 
I didn't want to like it, but I really do. I'll swatch it just so you can kind of see. But it's a pretty light nude color and it's got a nice sheen. I like the paddle wand. I feel like it's really easy to control. And it also smells minty, so that's fun. But this is one of those products that I was like, okay, this is $28, which is stupid. Stupid. No one should spend $28 on a lip gloss, but I did. And so I'm requiring myself to wear it like all the time to make the money I spent worth it. So I'm planning on doing like a project pan video uh, and kind of selecting some makeup that I'm going to be committed to and work on actually using through, going through. Specifically, I want to finish an eyeshadow palette because that never happens. And this is one of those things. So I can justify that I spent $28 and then buy it again because it's amazing. All right, those are all my favorites and yeses for the month. So now I'm gonna just show my two hard passes and let you know. All right, so as I said, I'm switching over to natural deodorant and there's one type at most drugstores and it's called Tom's of Maine. Now, the thing is, the aluminum is the ingredient that does the antiperspirant, so you're gonna sweat with uh, natural deodorant. But I'm not really worried about the sweating as much as I am the stinking. That's my biggest thing. I work in the courthouse and my office is an ice box, so I don't sweat at work. So, that's just not an issue. Um, but this stuff, I got the unscented. It doesn't work at all. I was stinky and it was embarrassing and I hope no one noticed, but I noticed and I didn't like it. So it was really inexpensive, it was like $4, but no, what's the point? Um, I used coconut oil for the first two days as deodorant and that worked better than this. And I smelled sort of stinky, but with coconut oil. And so it was way better. So don't do that. I have been trying another one that I really like, but I had ordered it online and I'm still testing it. My second hard pass hurts me because I want to love it so much, but I really don't. And I'm gonna do a full in-depth review that I'm gonna film right after this. And then I'm gonna go return it. And it hurts my heart. It is the Lorac Los Angeles Pro. I love brunch palette. It's so pretty. Look at it. It's so cute. And they're all named after brunch things. There's avocado toast and pancakes. And it's beautiful and terrible. And I'm not gonna get too into it because I'm gonna do the full in-depth swatch video and really address my feelings of sadness. And so, but don't spend your money. Don't do it. I never return makeup and I'm gonna go return this. And by return I'm in exchange so I can get something else. All right, so those are all of my yeses and hard passes that I enjoyed in the month of February. So let me know down in the comments what you liked, if you've used any of these products, if you like any of, if you like two of my hard passes and want to tell me that I'm wrong, that's fine too. Also, please, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Those buttons are down there. There's a picture of my face with Fred's face. Click on that and you'll get to see more of me talking to you. All right, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.